first, let's get to our breaking news. As the FBI raised Detroit's city hall and council members' homes in a corruption probe. And that does top our news this noon. Our focus is this investigation. And the focus of that investigation is unclear right now. The raids constitute the largest federal investigation into city hall corruption in the eight years since former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick was convicted and sentenced to 28 years in federal prison. You might recall former President Donald Trump commuted Kilpatrick's sentence in January. So what's been happening since then? Let's get to Victor Williams with a closer look at what we're learning and what they may be looking for, Victor. Yes, Rhonda, while well, this raid has been going on for hours, quite some time, right behind me, you'll notice some FBI agents guarding the entrance of the Coleman Young Municipal Center. As we wait for them to come out with any evidence that they find so far, they have already come out with multiple boxes, but we're told that city council members Janae Ayers and Scott Benson are the target of a federal corruption investigation. FBI agents are also executing search warrants at the homes of these city council members as well. Well, take a look at some of the video caught right on the scene. Now, what caused these raids to take place is unknown. We just know that no criminal charges have been filed at this point in time. Now, we are waiting for them to come out to brief us to give us more information. It looks like that may be happening soon. So we'll, of course, keep you guys posted on what may be said in the next few minutes. But we know that all of this is happening just weeks after federal bribery charges were filed against city councilman. Good afternoon, Andrew everybody. I'm just going to have a go short statement have for you here today. I'm Tim Waters. I'm the special agent in charge for the FBI here in Michigan. Uh, this morning, as you all very well know, uh, FBI agents along with task force officers from the FBI Detroit field office executed search warrants at multiple locations here in uh, southeast Michigan and along in City Hall. Um, really, at this point, why, why are we doing this? Why are we doing these search warrants? Because the citizens, the citizens of De Detroit have a right to a city government that is free of corruption. All right, so, I hope, but I wanna make clear that no one is being charged today. Um, simply what we're doing today is collecting evidence, and which will be presented to the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Eastern District of Michigan. We'll make all decisions on charging. Uh, we'll make all decisions on charging in this, in this uh, ongoing investigation. Um, the FBI is a lead federal agency for public corruption matters in the United States. We take these allegations exceptionally seriously. It is our number one priority for our criminal investigations. Uh, and as such, obviously, we need the public's help uh, in investigating these, ty these type of cases. I would urge anyone with information on public corruption matters, both here in the city of Detroit, but also throughout Michigan, to please contact the FBI. Uh, at this point, that concludes my statement. Thank you. Yeah, I, at this point, I cannot. There will be more information that will come out in the near future, but at this point, I cannot. I, I apologize for that. How many offices were searched inside? Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't get the information right now. Can you tell us how many areas in Mexico were searched? Yeah, there were a number of locations that were searched, and I can see where this is going, and you're going to ask a lot of questions that I can't answer, so I'm going to step away, but there will be more information to follow, okay? I promise. Done today. Well... For, for today, to likely. We'll likely be done no today. Charges are being Thanks to you on the job. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. So that you know, I'll be sending around um, a written version of this as well, so you'll get that this afternoon, um, which will have essentially the same information that the SAC provided. Um, the contact number we're at the public to um, sorry. And we'll go ahead and um, wrap it up. Contact like number we're asking the public uh, no to charges call. are being found at this point in time. We'll keep you guys updated on this development story. Victor Williams, local four. All right, Victor, thank you again.